guys good morning and welcome back to my channel so today uh, it's a nice bright sunny day so I thought you know what I'm gonna go for a ride so I'm here with uh, two of my other friends Manil and Mohan and we're in Hillsville at the moment just by the Beachwood Bakery I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then um, just uh, probably do a quick loop around Hillsville and head back home. Hey guys, so we are all done and ready to go for a quick ride. So I've got a bit of a different setup today. I'm recording my audio from my phone I've got my Insta 360 which is recording the bulk of the 360 video as well as I've got my GoPro which is doing the other bits of recording as well it's having a bit of trouble here So the Insta360 is running, got my GoPro, so yeah, three hours out today, I'm on the Waystrom 650, I've got a friend Mohan, who is on the Africa Twin, and I've got Manveer, who is on the Honda CVR1000 Fireblade. We call that back the Mona Lisa. Extremely beautiful bike. Now Manvir has worked on the bike himself. Uh, when he bought it, it required a lot of work to be done. So he's actually done quite well with the bike. Working on it from scratch. So this camera here is something that I'm trialing out. It's a GoPro Hero 5. I have got the media mod that I just, uh, sorry, not the media mod, the mic adapter which I just uh, got from Amazon yesterday. Unfortunately, with the mount that I've got here, I can't seem to connect the microphone in it. So I'm having to uh, use my phone to record the audio, which is how I've been doing it in the past so it's worked pretty well so fingers crossed won't have found any issues today lovely day to ride we're going up to Warburton uh, up the hills and then we will ride down from there and then head back home so the plan is to ride for about an hour or so and then head back home to our families and spend the rest of the Sunday with the family nice the views here hopefully as what Daniel Andrews has said in the Victorian roadmap we should be able to get some freedom to travel again in November so by then hopefully we can do a bit more traveling without any fears and enjoy the weather winter has ended we are now in spring 
and starting to warm up the days are longer and if I'm not mistaken next Sunday I think we go into daylight savings which is great so a bit more longer days there as well Okay, I'm back. Accidentally locked the phone and uh, stopped recording. So, need to catch up with the voice. Not very windy today, which is really good. on the 80s old. So for those of you who are not familiar with this area, this is uh, towards uh, Hills Hill, up North Victoria. And uh, it's also Hills Hill and the Yarra Ranges. So uh, very beautiful uh, area. Uh, lots of wineries around this area, quite hilly. Um, in Hillsville, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is uh, hot air balloons that you could also uh, participate in. They are the hot air balloons. Uh, I think in order to get on it, you they start at about three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning, just before the sun rises. And then uh, apparently uh, it goes for about a few couple of hours and then you, it lands, lands on a random farm somewhere and, and then you make your way home or something. Uh, I've got a couple of friends who have been for it. I think it costs about $400 for a couple. Definitely something that is on my pocket list to try. Uh, maybe we will be able to do it in summer or something.
nice this this here The boys waiting up for me. We are heading up the hills, nice river here by the side, I hope the GoPro is recording this. Such beautiful views man. And we are in Warburton at the moment. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Warburton is uh, very popular for in the winter months because I think up the hills here it snows, and in the summer months it's you know nice and green, lush. A lot of cyclists here, basically tourists all over, and um, by the river you can have a bit of a splash. Turning left, Brisbane Bridge, low clearance, 4.3 meters. And I think we are going down to the river.
Oh, I just found out that my first uh, set of recording with the audio didn't actually work. Oh, the joys of using your phone. Sometimes the USB-C cable comes off and then you lose audio. So you have to like check it from time to time. But that's fine. At least I figured it out. So yeah, I was saying that uh, up this mountain in the winter months is normally uh, all snow. And at the moment the roads doesn't look that, that good uh, because there's been a lot of rain over the past few days. So it's quite wet and uh, there's a lot of uh, leaves and stuff on the road. So it's probably best to just take it a bit easy on, around the vents. The nice thing about the V-Strom going out roads like that is because the engine is so talky, you can literally just, you know, maintain the whole ride on one gear. I just normally use the third gear and go uphill. And uh, it's just like the right balance for me. So that's the beauty of an uh, engine with high torques. You can see here the roads are very, very wet. And it's very important that you be careful on roads like that. It's really easy to get carried away. Well, I just try to, you know, not push it too hard around roads like that. I think I suppose sometimes it also depends on how confident you are with your bike. If you are confident with your bike, you know your tires, you understand your bike really well, then maybe you can push it a bit. Rider confidence is an important thing on roads like that. And also very important to have uh, good reflexes and good responses if you have to make any sudden maneuvering or stops.
can see the roads are all wet, still got snow. Look at all of that, it's because of cold. I think we are almost up in the summit. I think it's still snowing here. Here we go. We are at the summit. Yes. Huh? So Mohan has said we need to line up. Oh, it's gonna be a bit challenging. Oh, look at the snow, my friends. Cool.
All right, we just got down from the mountain, had a cup of coffee, refueled, and now I am on my way home. So from here, Mohan has left because he's going in a different direction. And me and Manvir will head back to the northern suburbs. And we should be home in about an hour's time. So the mountain that we went up to just now was called Mount Doni Buong. So that's Mount Doni Buong. And uh, it was a pretty nice ride up there. Um, this town here, this little town that we are in at the moment, it's called Warburton. Uh, so it's just at the bottom of uh, Mount Donibong. So nice little town. There was a nice river um, and lots of cafes by the river. Obviously, they're all closed now because of uh, the restrictions. But I would imagine that uh, in normal time, this place would be relatively busy. It's warmed up a little bit now. So I'm looking forward to the ride home. The roads are, are dried and uh, the weather is much, much better than what it was this morning. Like this morning, it was very chilly. I think when we got out, it was about um, seven to eight degrees. And now it is, uh, according to my bike, it says it's 18 degrees celsius which is really nice so that was uh, the short i suppose the short ride that uh, we done today i feel so much more relaxed now that i've you know got out there on the bike did a bit of riding So again, uh, Mount Doni Wung, for what I found out today, um, during the winter months, you can drive up there and uh, it's a good spot to play with the snow, a bit of tobogganing and stuff that you could do. Uh, it's a free mountain, so you don't have to pay to go up there. Um, Apparently, uh, during the peak season, there's normally a food truck there as well that sells uh, hot chips and coffee and whatnot uh, just below the, the, the summit where the car park is. And uh, you can grab some food, some hot drinks and uh, play, have fun, you know. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how busy it gets uh, here but I would think that uh, being a free mountain and relatively close proximity to Melbourne CBD I would think that it isn't all that expensive and uh, I would also think that it will attract quite a bit of uh, people down here during the winter months and in the summer, it's actually quite popular among cyclists. Even today, there were quite a few cyclists that were riding up the mountain. And I suppose it will also be very popular among the motorcycle riders as well. So, yeah, if you guys are down on this part of the city, Melbourne, and you want to have a nice you know two to three hour loop i would strongly recommend this route so come via hillsville hillsville to warburton warburton to mount donibuong a couple of photos up at the mountain and then head down to warburton again have lunch maybe a bit of coffee and then head back home so definitely a good thing to do 
so that's it for me today guys uh, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel it has been a great pleasure to work with uh, videos like this and I hope to do more it's just that with the restrictions we haven't I haven't been able to come up with many videos I think I haven't posted any videos for about two weeks now so hopefully I can post this video um, within the next couple of days and uh, hopefully something else for next week so again if you have enjoyed this video please do like share and please do subscribe to the channel um, subscribing as I've told you before does not cost you anything but it's uh, it helps me a lot uh, with some um, giving me some enthusiasm and I suppose motivation to come up with more videos and the main reason I'm doing this is, is, is for to share my experiences and I quite enjoy what I'm doing now so I want to just enjoy and share this with uh, you guys out there so that's really the main reason why I'm doing this um, I've also got some uh, links in the description below um, there are I've got my Amazon affiliate links um, for all my gear that I use so if you are interested in any of the gear that I'm using on my bike, please look at the description below. There is my Amazon affiliate links. Now again, if you decide to purchase anything using those links, uh, it is of no extra, extra cost to you. But uh, Amazon will give me a small uh, percentage out of those sales that is done. Now, that money I plan to use to get more equipment and also um, I suppose fund some of these trips that I plan to do in the future so thank you again guys for your support um, it's been great and I'm looking forward to the winter month to the sorry to the summer months to do more videos and have more fun catch you guys later see ya